What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Brian, a.k.a. CB Poppy here. Now, my boy, Brian, of course, he's not here. He just had to take care of some personal matters. Um, but he sends his apologies for not being here. But he'll make sure he is here for the next time we do one of these videos. Now, today here, we're going. I'm going to be doing here my fan hype slash predictions for two shows. Coming up this Sunday, NSW presents the Women's Grand Prix Tournament, as well as September 2. Remember, as I mentioned, they take both take place this coming Sunday at the Columbus Club of Hamilton, formerly known as the United Clubs Hall, located at 222 Queenston Road in Hamilton, Ontario. Now, the Women's Grand Prix Tournament the doors open for that show will open up. The doors open will doors will open at 1 p.m. Bell time is for 1:30 p.m. September two. Remember the doors open up will at 5:15 p.m. and the show will begin at 5:30 p.m. Tickets are still available for this show. These shows, however, they are going very very quickly. Now tickets for these events are the same in, in price. They are both $20 for the general admission. For the front row, they are both $25. However, there is a deal. I'm not sure how many tickets are left at this point in time. But for $40, you can get front row for both shows, the Grand Prix Tournament, as well as September to remember. But make sure to act fast as the tickets are going very, very quickly. Now, as far as... Okay, so we're going to first start off with the Women's Grand Prix Tournament. So here are going to be your participants for that tournament. So participant number one is going to be Shiloh. Um, she is a women's professional wrestler here in Ontario. You may have seen her around in other promotions. Uh, another familiar name, you some of you may be familiar with her, CC Moss. Um, that she is participant number two. Participant number three is the woman known as Bella Bronx. If you are unfamiliar with her, she is also familiar in Ontario indie wrestling scene. Um, she's been she's previously been a referee, and now she's getting in the ring to get physical. A very familiar female wrestler here. A lot of people will know when hear this name. She is known as the queen of horror. Sabrina Kyle as participant number four. Another very, very popular entrant is in this tournament. She is the wild child, Jody Threat, one of my personal favorites. Again, another familiar face here in the Ontario Indie Wrestling scene. She is the selfie queen, Jesse Mack. Um, entrant number seven is Crystal Moon, another Young and upcomer around and around in the Ontario scene. And entry number eight, I do not know personally. I might have to do a little more research on this wrestler. And her name would be Miley. Now, the breakdown, so those are that's the breakdown for the participants in the tournament. Now, the matchups for the actual tournament have not been announced at this current time, nor has anything been announced. Should anything be announced prior to Sunday, um, just make sure to stay tuned to NSW. And as well as if I'm able to receive any notification as well, I'll let you guys know about that as well. Now, as far as who I would want to win this tournament, I actually have three names in mind who I could possibly see winning this tournament. Now as well, um, I also forgot to mention, I am not 100% sure what the prize for the tournament. I'm presuming possibly maybe some kind of trophy or even awarded some kind of championship. I do not know the fine details. I just know it's a tournament. Um, I do not know what the prize for it. Again, um, if I find out anything, I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, we will find out on Sunday. So for my top three picks for this tournament, um, number one, Sabrina Kyle. 
just because she has been in this business for such a long time. She's making a name for herself. And to add a tournament win on Sunday would definitely make her up in the ranks. My number two pick, again, would be for one of my personal favorites, Jody Threat. She has been wrestling for about the last four years now, and she has really come a long way. My number three pick as a young and upcomer, she's also been around for quite some time, making her rounds in the Ontario and wrestling scene, and that would be Crystal Moon. Crystal Moon, sorry. So I would love to see one of these, one of these three women win that tournament. So yeah, so we'll have to find out what happens this Sunday when it comes to a tournament. Again, if uh, just make sure to stay tuned for the match announcements as well as if anything additional gets added to the card on top of the tournament. So moving on, it's going to be the match card for September to remember. Now also, I forgot to mention as well, as I mentioned in every single video, the card is subject to change as well as possibly the participants for the women's tournament. They may, they could possibly change, but again, make sure to stay tuned that so as far as come to remember um officially i have we have four matches announced nothing further from my knowledge but again if anything else gets announced i'll let you guys know so match number one here we have a four-way dance we have easy e taking on john atlas taking on the anti-hero sos versus mike forte Four amazing talents here, and two of them being veterans of the sport. Now, as far as my pick, anyone can, anyone can, the outcome for this match, anyone can win this. Anyone can win this. Um, as far as my personal pick for this one here, oof. now, depending on what advancement the, the winner will get hopefully maybe it could be for a future this victory can put them in a title contendership but if that's going to be the case then my personal pick would be for easy e eric Kearney. i would love to see him win a championship maybe possibly going for the internet title or maybe even possibly going for the nsw heavyweight championship that would be amazing thing that would be i do believe he's had yeah, he did have a shot at the last show, but I would love to see him take on Del Bruno again and see if he can dethrone Del Bruno because he has been a champion for quite some time. Now, in another singles, uh, we have a singles match on the card. We have Gabriel Fuerza taking on Dallas Kyle. Two young, uh, two more young, amazing talents here. But my personal pick for this one. I got to go with Gabriel Fuerza. I've seen him wrestle many times. Very talented man. But no discredit to Dallas Kyle. I know these two will put on a great matchup. We have another singles match on the card. Where we're going to have Corey Stone taking on the visionary Vaughn Vertical. Two more amazing wrestlers who have made the rounds in the Ontario Indians scene. Um, Corey Stone is a hard hitter. Vaughn Vertigo can really show his skills. He's a high flyer. Uh, my pick for this one is going to be for Vaughn Vertigo because I, I've seen him wrestle quite a bit more than Corey Stone, and he does have the experience on his side. Now, we also have for the NSW World Heavyweight Championship where we have the reigning and defending Heavyweight champion Alessandro Del Bruno taking on the high risk hero Rip Impact. These two wrestlers have been in the business for many, many years. Now, Del Bruno has proven time and time again he's beat some of the best NSW has thrown at him. Rip Impact has been in this business such a long, long time. 
and he has proven himself that he is one of the best here in Ontario. Much respect to Rip. Now, I would love to see Rip dethrone Alessandro Del Bruno and become the NSW Heavyweight Champion because honestly, I think Rip deserves it. He deserves for all the hard work Rip does for Ontario Indian Wrestling. I truly believe he deserves to carry around that NSW Heavyweight Championship. And that is my personal pick for that match. Now, again, that's what I have here from my knowledge in terms of what's going on for the card. Again, if anything should be announced by the time Sunday, before Sunday rolls around, I'll make sure to let you guys know. Otherwise, make sure to stay tuned to the NSW social media accounts should anything change or anything get added. Again, speaking of New School Wrestling, uh, if you want to stay up to date on the happenings of them, make sure to follow them on Facebook at New School Wrestling. You can follow them on Twitter at NSW is back, as well as their Instagram, Wrestling New School. Now, you can also check out previous events for New School Wrestling by going to independentwrestling.tv and you can check out the library of previous events. Um, make sure to check that out. So that's, that's going to wrap it up for me here today. I hope you enjoyed um, the first time I've done a solo predictions slash hype video in quite some time. Um, Brandon sends his love to everyone. Um, I'll make sure that um, he makes sure that um, he sends his love out to everybody. And we'll make sure to see you this coming Sunday. Make sure get your tickets because they're going fast. And we'll see you on Sunday.